Let's make a comparison. At first glance, these two engines may look identical, both resembling SpaceX's Raptor 3, but that's not the case. One is the real Raptor 3, while the other is, you guessed it, a Chinese-made copy. After imitating SpaceX's rockets and even their launch towers, China has now attempted to replicate SpaceX's most powerful engine, aiming to use it in a hybrid rocket that combines features of their existing vehicles. So how close did China get to copying Raptor? And can this effort truly rival SpaceX? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. When it comes to China, we are no longer strangers to their ability to copy designs and technologies with astonishing precision. SpaceX, being the industry leader in modern rocketry, has become the most copied target. From rockets to launch towers, and now engines, China has repeatedly drawn inspiration from SpaceX's breakthroughs. As the opening image of this discussion shows, SpaceX's Raptor 3 engine has now been copied. The sleek black Raptor 3 represents SpaceX's newest engine version, which is currently in production and will soon power the Starship V3 variant in just a few months. It was created to replace the Raptor 2, delivering stronger thrust while boasting an extremely simplified design. That simplicity not only improves efficiency in manufacturing, but also streamlines operations, refurbishments, and reusability. In short, it's a highly refined engine meant to power humanity's path to Mars. And yet, this same design has now surfaced on the other side of the world. The Chinese copy is called Mammoth One, produced by a company named Star Shuttle Technology. Interestingly, in some online updates and in the branding shown on the rocket, the company also appears to operate under the name Arctech. This is most likely a newly established company, since it has not been widely known until now. The naming of the engine is also telling, because Mammoth One strongly suggests that future versions or even entire families of engines could follow. With SpaceX constantly innovating, it seems this company intends to mirror those advancements step by step. The most striking thing about Mammoth One is its external design. At first glance, it looks almost identical to SpaceX's Raptor 3, from the nozzle to the intricate piping systems above. Even more surprising is that the company copied not only the overall shape, but also the very simplification that SpaceX achieved in the Raptor 3. Like SpaceX, the Chinese design appears compact, with only three or four large visible tubes, while smaller details are tucked away. If you look closely, however, there are at least two clear differences. First, the Mammoth 1 is silver, whereas the Raptor 3 has the distinctive matte black finish. Second, on the left side of the Mammoth 1, there is an unusual lever-like system that the Raptor does not have. Aside from these small distinctions, the similarities are hard to ignore. Now, let us turn to the performance details. According to available information, the Mammoth 1 will produce 240 tons of thrust at sea level, which which is weaker than SpaceX's Raptor 3 at 280 tons, still it surpasses the Raptor 2 currently flying on Starship. This alone shows how ambitious this copy really is. Although its vacuum thrust has not been officially revealed, estimates place it somewhere between 260 and 270 tons. In terms of efficiency, the engine has an impulse of 330 seconds. While this falls short of both the Raptor 2 and 3, it's nonetheless a very competitive figure compared with most engines in service today. Structurally and mechanically, all evidence suggests the Mammoth 1 also uses a full-flow staged combustion cycle just like Raptor. Even the choice of propellants matches SpaceX's design, relying on liquid methane and liquid oxygen. As for development progress, Star Shuttle Technology announced that Mammoth 1 passed a system plan review in the first half of this year. The company intends to proceed with component testing and ignition trials before the end of the year. If everything goes according to plan, the engine could enter service by 2026. But the copying does not stop at the engine. Right next to Mammoth 1 stands another replica, the launch vehicle itself. This rocket is named Glacier 1, and just like the engine, its name suggests that future versions may follow, and once again, the design looks strikingly familiar. In fact, Glacier 1 seems to be a mashup of several rockets. Its first stage clearly resembles SpaceX's Falcon Booster, from its length to its grit fins and foldable landing legs. These features strongly imply that Star Shuttle technology intends to recover and reuse the first stage, very likely through drone ship landings at sea. 
Furthermore, the rocket is said to be constructed from stainless steel, echoing the same material choice as Starship. Looking higher up, we can see a hot staging mechanism positioned between the stages almost identical to the method SpaceX introduced for the Starship V3. The concept of hot staging, where the upper stage engines ignite before separation, is not new. It dates back to the Soviet N1 rocket, yet SpaceX revived and perfected it, and now Glacier 1 mirrors this exact approach. The second stage is also a blend of inspirations. Its long structure, tapered tip, and oversized fairing are reminiscent of New Glenn, Vulcan, and Ariane 6. This design suggests that the rocket is meant to carry elongated or oversized payloads into orbit. In overall scale, Glacier 1 measures about 5 meters in diameter. That makes it larger than Falcon 9, but smaller than Starship. The company has not disclosed the rocket's height, but based on images and proportion estimates, the first stage alone appears to be about 50 meters tall, while the second stage stretches another 30 meters. Factoring in the hot staging cis staging section, the total height likely exceeds 80 meters. Images suggest Glacier 1's second stage will use a single engine, while the first may house 7 to 9, much like Falcon 9. The rocket is claimed to lift 40 tons to orbit, which, with stainless steel construction, advanced staging, and reusability promising launch costs of just tens of thousands of yuan per kilogram. On paper, this looks competitive. But can copies rival SpaceX? By skipping trial and error, China's companies leapfrog hurdles. But a copy is never the same as the original. Without SpaceX's experience, infrastructure, and years of testing, it's unlikely they can match performance, reliability, or innovation. Meanwhile, SpaceX pushes forward. By the time Mammoth 1 and Glacier 1 debut in 2026, Starship V3, with Raptor 3 engines, will likely already be flying. The gap will only widen as SpaceX accelerates progress. Still, China's efforts reflect growing ambition and the influence SpaceX wields globally. Even if Glacier 1 never reaches orbit, its existence underscores how SpaceX has reshaped the industry. So what do you think? Can these copies compete, or will SpaceX stay far ahead? Me personally, while I can recognize the bold ambition behind these copies, it's clear that they face several serious problems. Let's start with the Raptor 3 engine itself. As I mentioned earlier, the Raptor 3 is SpaceX's most refined and powerful version to date. At first glance, its design looks simple. But behind that simplicity lies a wealth of advanced technologies that only SpaceX fully understands. Achieving this milestone did not come overnight. SpaceX had to endure a long and difficult process of trial, error, and improvement. They moved from the complex and less efficient Raptor 1 to the cleaner and more practical Raptor 2, and finally to the highly advanced Raptor 3. Each step required years of research, countless tests, and constant refinement. Simplifying, eliminating inefficiencies, and integrating new solutions were all part of this journey. China, however, has attempted to bypass this entire process by directly copying the Raptor 3. They did not invest the years of development and testing that SpaceX went through. This raises a critical question. Do they truly understand the technologies they have copied? The more their engine resembles the Raptor 3, the greater the doubts about whether they comprehend its inner workings. Copying is one thing, but mastering the technology behind it is another. Without that deep understanding, Failures are not only possible, but likely, and once failures occur, private organizations in China may find themselves unable to recover, quickly disappearing from the competitive market. The issues do not stop with the engine. The rocket itself shows significant weaknesses. One major problem lies in the design philosophy. Chinese developers often combine features from many different rockets into one with the idea that the best rocket is simply one that includes the best designs from everywhere. But this is a flawed approach. The best rocket is the one that balances all its components to work in harmony, even if some of those parts are simple. On the other hand, mixing top-tier designs that do not complement each other can create conflicts and failures. Looking back to the Glacier 1 rocket as an example, its design seems unbalanced with a second stage that is far too long. To handle such a stage effectively, the booster should be between 60 to 70 meters in height to maintain control of the thrust. Extending the second stage like this suggests that the designers may have been too focused on increasing payload capacity without properly considering stability and control. Another concern is the placement of the grid fins. They're located far too close 
to the hot staging section. Hot staging releases tremendous energy, and with grit fins so close, they are likely to be damaged during flight. This raises serious doubts about the rocket's ability to be reused, a critical feature if it wants to compete with SpaceX. From the outside, these rockets and engines may look like impressive copies of SpaceX technology. However, the problems quickly become apparent upon closer inspection. In truth, perfection seems to exist only in appearance. When examined beyond the surface, these copies cannot match the depth of engineering, the years of refinement, and the proven reliability of SpaceX's systems. In the end, it's clear that while the ambition is there, these copies will not be able to surpass SpaceX. The company moves forward in confidence, its Falcon rockets dominating the global market through unmatched reliability and reusability. Falcon 9 and Heavy continue breaking records in launches, landings, and rapid reuses, with performance and cadence expected to climb even higher in the coming years. Now begins a new chapter with Starship, powered by the simplified Raptor 3 engine. Indeed, this V3 era aims to achieve orbit, master complex missions, and extend humanity's reach to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Later this year, and into the next, SpaceX will have the chance to showcase its innovation as the space race heats up. The rivalry now isn't just between nations or companies, but between originals and copies. Yet SpaceX's proven systems, backed by experience and constant refinement, give it a decisive edge. Unless something unexpected occurs, its lead will hold, though the unfolding competition ensures the race will be fascinating to watch. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.